Welcome back to Camping Adventures. I'm Jim Graham. Riding out the storm. We've got a hurricane running up the coast. It's going to get interesting in the next couple hours. So I thought I would just camp out and test the gear. Let's get busy. got a hurricane running up the coast and it doesn't seem like it's going to be too bad here in the Midlands but uh, you know we're going to get some rain going to get some wind so I figured I'd test out my gear got my cheap tarp up been up for a couple weeks now uh, endured a bunch of storms uh, in the afternoons mainly so uh, I decided I'm going to hang the hammock and I'm going to ride this one out test it out so what I did, I had so many choices. Uh, I had uh, a snug pack, which I've got set up. I've got an Eno, I've got a DD, and I've got my homemade hammock, the turd. And I was trying to figure out what was going to be the best scenario for this. And I went with the DD. It's a single layer. It's got a bug net. I've got it strung up. I'm well in underneath the tarp area here. I've got my drip line set up, so any water running down the line should hit all these series of knots and just run down. I'm pretty well protected in here. Still got my cot set up in the back. Also got my chair still protected. Got my fire going. Run that as long as it'll run till the rain. So we're just going to see how this plays out overnight. I mean, I'm just going to take my time. I'm not going to be in any rush by any means. Uh, so I'm going to be tagging in and out from time to time. Just kind of give you brief updates as what's going on. But right now, I'm just chilling by the fire and underneath my tarp. I'm dry. First bands of rain have already come through. Uh, really wasn't much. It's just a quick sprinkle. Uh, anticipating more. Probably one to one to six inches worth of rain tonight. You know as accurate as they can be with that. We won't know until after it's over with how much we actually get. Uh, the wind, uh, we're going to see how that plays out. I know down at the coast a couple hours away uh, they're getting a boat load of wind and rain. Um, so we just have to wait and see how that how that goes. I'm imagining anywhere between 10 and 12 o'clock we should be uh, getting pretty interesting around here. So, uh, I'll check back with you in a little bit. Yes, we have the hurricane running up the coast. It's probably going to make landfall anywhere between Charleston and Myrtle Beach. 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Um, 70 mile an hour winds down on the coast. It's two hours away. Bands of rain swinging through. Looks like we may have another band getting ready to hit us. But there's a cold front coming in from the northwest that's going to be hooking in right behind it. So we're going to hopefully be getting some breezes, some nice comfortable uh, conditions this evening. Uh, probably going to have heavy rain around 2 o'clock. i got my fire going right now, as you can see. I've got my cheap tarp up. Tarp's been up for a couple of weeks. It endured several heavy storms, heavy rains. Uh, I did put my hammock in. And I had several choices, and I opted for my snug pack this time around, single layer, you know, hopefully for breathability, because it is a little humid. So, uh, hoping to get a little bit cooler breeze. But I'll touch base with you from time to time throughout the night. Rain's starting to hit now, so I'm going to retreat inside. Uh, talk to you soon. Evening. The rain has settled in, as you can tell. Temps are starting to drop a little bit. It's going to be nice and comfortable. Maybe a little muggy, but uh, it'll be cool and breezy. 
Uh, it's 9 o'clock. Probably expecting a little bit more uh, in the next hour or so. Uh, yeah, should be a comfortable night. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in early. And I'll talk to you in the morning. Y'all have a good evening. Good morning. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I, I slept like a baby. And this is going to be brief. I was, uh, I didn't even get up and get moving. But I just want to let you know, it is a storm. Uh, it really wasn't that bad here. Uh, it was a little breezy. Got a little rain about 12 o'clock. That was gone. I mean, it, it, whatever was going on, that storm blew by pretty fast. Cool front moved in. I have no idea what that really means. It just it was comfortable. Temps were pretty good. I had to use my Ruby last night. Actually pretty comfortable. Well, survived the night last night. Conditions weren't what I was expecting. Uh, you know, they were expecting quite a bit of rain. There's some flash flooding in our area. Uh, the winds and what they were talking about. What we ended up getting was rain from about 8, 8.30 till about 11.30, 12 o'clock. Uh, not too terribly heavy. Uh, it was breezy there for a little while. Um, but that kind of died out as well. Temperatures dropped to about 70, roughly. Uh, it was very comfortable. Um, as a matter of fact, it's very comfortable now. Um, so the conditions weren't near what I thought, but the setup was perfect. Uh, and I'm going to kind of pick on a few things that I did to get prepared for it because I was expecting high winds or, you know, heavier winds than what we got. And, uh, you know, of course the rain. Now I've got the, the tarp set up in a flying lean-to, uh, the way I had it set up for my, uh, when I had my cot cot still on the other side so I you know could have kept two maybe three people up under here dry comfortable uh, very easy it's great setup but I did do a couple of things a little extra uh, because it was you know the potential of high winds so I'll get into that here in just a second we had that hurricane run up the coast a couple hours from here and two hours from here uh, expecting a lot more wind and rain than we actually got. Uh, didn't do what I was anticipating, but hey, I was prepared for it. Uh, the tarp set up, everything was set up perfectly, been set up uh, for a couple weeks, just kind of sitting here enduring all kinds of storms and stuff. So last night was no different. The uh, only thing I did differently was hang my hammock. And uh, of course, the uh, cot's still here. Could have had one or two, maybe three people under here with me. I did do some changes. I did add a heavier uh, ridge line in just to give me, you know, because I was anticipating a lot more wind. And in that process, I added drip lines and it stopped the water cold. Uh, on the, the main drip line here, uh, that prussic stopped it did not go beyond that. So water was coming down, hit these uh, drip lines, drop right on down, no problem. Same thing with the hammock. Came down the, the whoopee swing, hit the first split, it ran down the bottom cord. Uh, what ran down here hit these, dripped, nothing got to the, uh, the hammock.
So all in all, it was a good evening. Uh, just nice cool temperatures, slight breeze, a uh, little bit of rain, 12 o'clock, it was gone. Uh, this morning, the sleeping was heavy. Woke up at 6, I think I shot a quick video, my view from the hammock, and then I went back to bed. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm not done yet. So uh, I didn't get up till 9. And got up, got breakfast, and did my thing, and then uh, now I moved on. So I'm kind of sitting around today, going to be uh, letting things air out and dry out. But test your gear in crappy weather in your backyard before you go out into the field. Uh, that way you know you got your setups down pat, your equipment's going to hold. Worst case scenario, if things go south on you, you just head into the house. Deal with it after everything dries out. Uh, try again. So trial and error, I do this quite a bit. I've been in a couple of a couple of these uh, tropical storms. Uh, one of them we had 60, 70 mile an hour winds. Uh, kind of enjoyed. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, but yeah, just test your gear. That way you know exactly what you're doing when you get out into the field. Because I've been on camping trips where we were out in the middle of nowhere and the storm popped over the mountain and you got to hunker down, you got to hunker down quick. And if you got your setup, you know, you know how, exactly what you're doing in your setup. Uh, it's the difference between an enjoyable afternoon or evening and a miserable one. So with that, I'm going to let you run. Check you next time. Y'all have a great day.